Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about uh, cancer therapies. Firstly, let's define what is cancer. Cancer is nothing but the abnormal growth of cells, in which the cells are ra rapidly divided, irrespective of the necessity of cells. And we have various types of cancers. Particularly, we have 200 types of cancers. The most type of cancers that we come across in our daily life are lung cancer, breast cancer, blood cancer, liver cancer, and etc. Simultaneously, we have various therapies such as chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, uh, stem cell transplant, surgery. Like this, we have various therapies to treat the cancers or to kill away the cancerous cells. Now, we are going to discuss only the chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Firstly, let's see what is chemotherapy. The chemotherapy is a process in which the treatment is given through strong medicines to kill away the cancerous cells or to degrade the cancerous cells. The chemotherapy is given in two ways. One is oral, oral mode and the secondary is injection mode. In the oral mode, the tablets or tonics are uh, swallowed through our mouth. Whereas in injection method, we are, we are again having three types. They are intravenous, intramuscular and uh, uh, subcutaneous. In intravenous type of chemotherapy, the chemotherapy or uh, the chemotherapy is given directly to the vein. Whereas in intramuscular chemotherapy, the chemotherapy is given to the directly to the muscle. In this way, the chemotherapy is used uh, by the oncologist. Oncologist means nothing but the person who treats the cancers, who treat the cancerous cells. And we have various side effects, unfortunately, by using chemotherapy also. The side effects include fatigue, nausea, hair loss, uh, skin allergies, etc. Even the strong medicines which are used also affects the norm normal cells, not only the cancerous cells. Sometimes the cancer therapist may get doubt that uh, whether the chemotherapy is working, working well or not. In order to verify such doubts, the therapists uh, uh, make the patient to undergo CT scan, MRI scan, PET scan. After doing these scans, one can identify whether the chemotherapy is working well or not. Simultaneously, the patient who is undergoing the chemotherapy must uh, uh, take a good diet which is advised by the doctor. The second type of uh, therapy that we are going to discuss is radiation therapy. What is radiation therapy? In radiation therapy, the high doses of radiation is given to the patient in order to treat the cancer. The radiation therapy does not kill the cancerous cells uh, right away. It takes days or weeks. Uh, nearly 2 to 8 weeks of time to kill away the cancerous cells and uh, in radiation therapy we have two types they are uh, external beam radiation therapy and internal beam radiation therapy in external external beam radiation therapy the part which is affected with the cancer is exposed to the radiation source or the machine through which the radiation is evolved for example a person is affected with lung cancer then the lung is uh, exposed to the machine through which the radiation comes. Thus the uh, external beam radiation therapy helps to kill away the cancer cells. And the other type of uh, uh, radiation therapy is internal beam radiation therapy. In this type of therapy, the radiation source which is in the form of seeds or capsules evolves the radiation and kills away the cancer cells. The therapist implants these seeds or capsules into the uh, into the patient who has been affected with cancer. Thus, the uh, internal beam radiation therapy and external beam radiation therapy are employed to degrade the activity of cancerous cells. Simultaneously, we have various side effects by using the radiation therapy. The person who has affected with who has undergone the radiation therapy treatment will be affected with uh, hair loss, destruction of epithelial cells, uh, skin allergies, skin diseases. Sometimes the uh, sometimes the side effects will be uh, will be seen in the patient after a long time such uh, effects are called as late effects now finally precautions what are the precautions that that should be taken by a doctor as well as a patient when the during the time of radiation therapy the doctor must use less amount of uh, radiation so that the normal cells cannot be affected 
the patient who ha- who has undergone the radiation therapy must be very cautious and the body fluids such as uh, saliva urine sweat uh, emits radiation and this radiation may affect the normal people uh, the pregnant women and the children who are less than 1 year old uh, must not meet the must not meet or uh, must not move friendly with the persons who have undergone the radiation therapy this is about the chemotherapy and radiation therapy thank you for watching